thinking about maybe getting a dog. A dog? Yeah. <laughs> a dog, Penelope, or should we get a cat? Ah, uh, I don't know. <laughs> or ducks. Or we ducks. ducks. Or rabbits. Maybe a goose. Something for oh, the groundhogs and the bunnies yeah. to help us with that. Or we could just get a fence. We could get a fence. <laughs> that, would, that would be a no commitment kind of. <laughs> We're uh, kind of like talking about it. Uh, we've never owned a dog before. Together as a family. Yeah, together. Like, oh. Not even as a couple. <laughs> yeah. I, I grew up with a dog. I grew up with a dog. Grew a dog. We grew up with two dogs. But we've um, never been. We've never had a dog together. Yeah, we've never had a dog <laughs> together. <laughs> All right, by the show of hands, how many people have this same compost setup? <laughs> Made out of pallets. We had two areas we have two areas uh, for compost no homestead is complete without this same compost setup right i think everyone has the same thing and it always looks like this where the pallets are falling down <laughs> so much growth happening uh, we may get the random tomato plant but currently and and this setup right here and this compost system was the very first thing that we did when we moved here before anything before growing food <laughs> before the shed before chicken tractors before getting chickens we made this compost bin and we don't really use it we don't really produce compost at this point it's just an ornamental you know it's just something to look at and it's not even nice to look at we've also had these plastic tarps that we use for the garden when we're not in use or we want to help with combat with uh, the grass and the weeds but these are already a few years old and I think we need to get rid of them. Back when I got these tarps, it was very difficult to get the sealage tarps that they have now. Uh, the, the tarps that are meant for the grass and the weeds uh, that market gardeners use. It was very difficult to get those. I think you could only get them like in Canada or something. But now you can get them. <laughs> but back when I got these, it was very difficult to get the ones meant you know that are bpa free that are uv treated so i think it's time to get some of those i don't know when we're going to get those hopefully before next year <laughs> but i think it's time we need to get rid of these what's up penelope um, i got some blackberries blackberries mm -hmm. Ooh, these look good let me see your shirt we're matchy mm -hmm. we're matchy today grow food build stuff <laughs> And by the way, you can still get these shirts. We have, we actually have them on our bonfire store. I'll leave a link to that. And so to keep with a the theme of learning to make our homestead more efficient, we need to do something about this. So I think we're gonna move our egg layers to this area. And so I need to rip out everything, take out the pallets and start fresh. snakes. I'm trellising up my Christmas lima beans. Where are they at? Well, I have two places for them. One right here along the corn and another here, which was just an experiment, but they grew, so I was like really surprised. I think the chickens are gonna love it here. Bernice, what are you, how are you doing Bernice? How are you doing today? You're in your cucumber? Yeah. Mm. Yeah!
Take care, Penelope. Hey, a little chicken club for them. Because... Chicken club. Just have some old hay here. Yeah. We'll leave that for them. We'll leave that for the chickens. <laughs> All right, I think the chickens are gonna love it here. Give them something to do. So this is uh, so this is the chicken boot camp, Penelope. Yeah. <laughs> Ain't that right, Whole Foods? Ain't that right, Bernice? So the idea is, I'm hoping uh, we could use this area and make compost by using our chickens and then throwing all our food scraps in here. When our garden's done, we could get the garden material, throw it all in here. We could bring in wood chips and hopefully over time, they can turn the soil, turn all this uh, scraps and make us some compost. <laughs> what do you think Penelope? Oh, I think they love it. So the, the wheels are turning. Uh, you know, we, we're going to get some more animals. I don't know if that's a dog. I don't know if that's some ducks. <laughs> some geese. I don't know, but we're talking about it. Maybe you could give us some suggestions. Do you think we should get some ducks? What about all of it? <laughs> ducks, geese, dog. I don't know. We'll see. All right, this is a big day for us. This is our last chicken. We raised this chicken last year. This is the last of it right here. <laughs> the very last bird, and it's actually a Freedom Ranger bird that we raised. We raised 60 of them last year. That's the last one. So we're having it for dinner tonight. What else are we having? We've got some roasted beets from yesterday's dinner. They're still cold, and it's kind of like a beet cold salad. And then I have um, yellow squash and zucchini from our garden from this year with onions from our garden and the thyme and oregano is also from our garden. So what would you say is the percentage that we grew here? Um, 90? It's like 95. Almost 100. Yeah, almost 100. I mean, I didn't, we didn't grow our own butter, obviously, or the salt and pepper, but yeah, everything here is what we grew. All right. So it doesn't get any better than that, right? Homegrown food.